Hello and welcome back to the Geobotics Classroom. I am Joshua Olunlade and today we are going to be using our button to switch on an LED. So what we want to do is that anytime our button is pressed, we want the LED to come on and anytime it is released, we want it to come off. So what do we need? Firstly, let me create the my LED variable. So it is of the data type integer. So int my LED is equal to why am i owning the led self let me just call it led led <laughs> is equal to 13 and then okay let us first initialize the led by using the pin mode function to set it as an output as we've did as we've done in previous videos so that will be LED comma output. Is that right? You see that it lights up. Okay. Now let us create the button variable. And you see in the steps that I gave to create the button variable, you first declare the um, the button or you declare the variable for the button. So I say int, it's a small letter, int button will be equal to and let me use pin 2 and next we'll create a, a, a variable to store the button state so is the button pressed or not so button state will now be equal to zero we initialize it to zero and in the void setup what do we do for the button what we do is that we set the pin mode of that pin I believe you understand how I assigned it to two now because so button my button will be connected to pin two. So my button will be connected to pin two. That is it. That is why I assigned it to pin two. So now pin mode we have button comma input because we are getting in data into our Arduino with the button. So now what do we do in the void loop function okay so ask yourself what do i want i want it to be that if the button is pressed then the led should come on else it should go off is that right and we have encouraged you to learn c plus plus as part of your um package for geobotics if you have learned it to a considerable extent, you would have met with the if else statement, and that is what we are going to be using here today. So, but before we do that, we first must read the button state or the state of the button pin into the button state variable. So this is how we will do that: button, button state will be equal to. We we'll use the digital read function. digital read into bracket and then i put the semicolon to end it so the digital read function has only one parameter which is the um variable or the pin number which in my case is button button okay now our state is stored in button state so now button state will be when 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 the button is pressed our button state will be one and when the button is released our button state will be zero according to the connection that we will make so it is the button state that we'll use now if else statement now so i'll say if into bracket button state is equal to one you see that we know closes the braces for me if it doesn't close it for you close it yourself so if button state is equal to one remember this one equal to like we used up here a single equal to sign is an assignment operator so if i were to assign it like this it will just assign one to button state and that is not what you want what you want is a comparison operator which is the um double equal to like two equal to that follows each other so if button state is equal to one then we want it to make 
the LED to come on and how do we do that like we have done in previous video digital right LED comma high so then we come down here and we add an else statement else digital right LED comma low so and that is all it's actually quite simple so if the button is pressed that is if button state is equal to one then the led will come on else the led will come off so now let us save this program Control s and i will save it as button button underscore led and save okay it's done saving and i will verify it is a good practice to always verify so that you know if you made mistakes or not before uploading to your arduino and it's verifying and it's done verifying or it's done compiling the next thing is to upload now to my arduino board and that is where this button comes in so i've clicked it wait 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 wait, wait. i have to check but fortunately for me my arduino is on the correct serial port so it's done uploading actually but always remember to check that that could be the the cause of various errors always remember to check that so now it's done uploading and that is all for this video in the next video i will show you how to connect the circuit and also we will see the demonstration of what we have done today Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask on the classroom platform provided for you by Geobotics. I am Joshua and bye for now.